All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. We're playing some modern. Modern. Yes, I know. I haven't played modern in a while, and everyone's been clamoring for it. And here we are. We're playing some modern. Got a few fun decks to play. This deck went 5-0 in a league. And Splinter Twin has not been unbanned. But Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker is here, even when it's not Mog Monday. So we are playing... Blue red, it's like twin control basically. Um, we've got our deceiver Exarchs, and we got our Kiki Jikis, and uh, that's a combo. Someone, uh, you know, tweet Splinter Twin situation and see if this is a Splinter Twin scenario because I think it is. I think it is. Otherwise, just blue red control, very similar to old twin decks, just snapcasters, remands, ops, lightning bolts, spell snares, two serum visions, four ops. I guess it's fun. Two of Braids, uh, two copies of Valakit Awakening. It's a spell land. Let's you loot away your hand, which is kind of cool, I guess, if you have extra Kiki Jikis in hand. Arc Mage of Charm, Cryptic Command. Um, pretty amusing here. We are not playing Mystic Sanctuary. In fact, we're actually playing Boil in our cyborg. Uh, not my deck list. Uh, Mr. U Long X. Uh, I've seen this a few times, like the, the blue boil decks. We only have three actual islands in our deck. Everything else is a fake island, like Minamo School at Water's Edge, or Boro, or Reflecting Pool, uh, River Glide Pathway. So we get to play boil in our blue deck. So it is pretty amusing that we have boil and Archmage Char in the same deck, but it's pretty fun, pretty fun. Otherwise, most things you'd expect to see here, honestly. You know, just blue control cards, Aether Guts, Mystical Dispute, yada, yada, yada. So, we're going to see if uh, we can recreate the success of, uh, of Mr. Mr. U Long X and uh, fire up a league here. A little modern league. It's been a while, you know? Been a while. Let's go. But first, we work from our sponsor. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Um, this card saw a decent amount of play. Uh, is it Phoenix when, when Phoenix was still a deck? And it's honestly a pretty solid threat. Um, it's kind of hard to fatal push. Can't lightning bolt it. Draws you a card. You can definitely see that the creatures in this deck were chosen with Kiki Jiki in mind. So if we're not copying XR, we can still copy Crackling Drake or copy Snapcaster Mage. Having Snapcaster is obviously awesome, but copying Crackling Drake might just win you the game on the spot anyway. If you have an 8 4 Crackling Drake and you copy it and attack for 16, that might just do it. So, Flight, new sub, what's your name, where you're from? Thanks so much, appreciate that. Let's go. Temple of Epiphany. And I said all about Temple of Epiphany. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep. It's a little, little tough. We can keep this. Temple is pretty awkward. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Got Spell Snare. Spike Field Cave? It's like an Oops All Spells deck? Alright. Uh, we're gonna leave up Spell Snare and Opt to try and find land, too. Like, oops, all spells is all I can really, I can really assume. Um, but I think Spikefield has is freaking great. I think it's one of the best spell lands. Yeah, they must be oops, all spells. So now you can spell snare their, uh, their, uh, their pentaprism. Desperate ritual. Well, I guess we have to spell snare this, otherwise, otherwise we're just dead, right? So, we have Belcher deck, too. Uh, we're gonna spell snare this. Hope we draw a land. Otherwise, we're probably in big trouble. What? Inconceivable! All right, well, I guess we're dead. Okay. Um, so they have another ritual in there. So they're just, they're just dead, though. Unless they have a spirit guide, they're just dead. Because... Um, First of all, we don't know they have a second ritual. They could have had, like, Spirit Guide, Iron Crag Feet. Um, 
But now they have to pay for Pact or they die so they can try and kill us and keep with a ritual. But if they have a ritual, we remand it if we draw land, which we did. So they have to have exactly Spirit Guide here. And if they do, we're dead. Please cast a ritual. Try and turn to me or turn three, I guess. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get off my plane. All right. So, um, yeah, still kind of tough. Bring the braids. Uh, let's see what we're cutting here. Let's see what we're cutting. Got to cut the crackling drakes. Sinkhole. Spell snare is good. Flush storm is good. Remand is okay. Archmage's Charm is fine. Cryptic Command's pretty slow. They're probably going to have Veil of Summer. Probably want to spell. Um, Wildfire's dope. Um, honestly, opponent was quite irresponsible making a pack they couldn't keep. It's true. It's true. Um, let's cut these. I almost don't mind cutting a Kiki because like... We're probably going to kill them like that than actually kill them. So, cut that. And let's cut, like... I mean, our lightning bolts are pretty bad, too, right? Like, maybe we should leave Kiki in. Cut, like, two bolts. I almost don't hate Dispute, honestly. I just want more counter spells. so... And, uh... Yeah. I think this is fun. Wildfire is going to be really good. Snap wildfires even better, so. Bring back Cryptic on the play. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, Sands dope. Keep. As long as I don't, like, turn to me. Dispute. Do I want to, like, leave up Serum Visions? I mean, leave up Opt and say go with this, with this spell up. So they can't just like ritual, ritual, ritual. Kind of think I do. Just play Lance, they go. So they like play a ritual, we'll like let it resolve and dispel the next ritual. I guess uh, defense grid. That's rude. Uh, bottom. Looking for a braid now. Now we're in trouble. There's a braid. Spell snares. Honestly, also kind of cool. I'm going to bottom it, though. We have counter spells. We've got to braid this thing, so do that. And do this. All right, don't kill me, I guess. It's a classic. It's a classic. Defense grid. Oh, God, here we go. I'm ready. Just good magic. Alright. Show me your deck. Okay, so they have three, at least three packed negations. They brought in Empty the Warrens. Two empties. Across the paths. Yeah, alright. I played this deck on a on a cool stuff video if you want to see it's just a Belcher deck. They just they're just not playing any lands and they have Belcher. Belcher says uh deal damage. Flip cards so you hit a mountain and then deal damage and then how many lands, so uh Beardy Boy, reset up, thanks so much. Alright, I mean I don't know if we can beat that hand without a spell snare. So on the on the on the draw. On the play we can beat it easily, so I mean, not easily, but Alright, let's bring in our cryptic commands. Bring the explosives too, actually, in case they have a. I don't, I don't want Carpet. Carpet is freaking terrible. In case they have a. Whatever it's called. The thing. Uh, token maker. Things. Tokens. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, let's get the disputes out. I mean, disputes like. Okay. Opponent, opponent was victorious. 
That's kind of kiki. And I don't know what getting. Should be fine. Reflecting pool, cascade plums. That is some uh, some mana base we've got here. I do hit I do hate filter lands with every fiber of my being. Uh, we can keep this though. Point ball against a six. It's bad that I want them to turn one us. Just good TV, you know? Just good TV. And I said all about Temple of Epiphany. All right. Cascade bluffs go. This hand can cast anything? Yeah, it can. Reflecting pool plus cascade bluffs cast everything. It's awkward. So yeah, we have one mana spells, but still cast my cards. See? Um, you're up. Fantasy's over. Didn't make the playoffs. My team sucks. Spirit Guide. Recross the path. So now this is a uh, real cards at the top of your library until you get a land. And obviously they have no lands. So basically basically will allow them to, to stack their entire deck. Um, we're going to counter this with Fluster Storm. And then just draw with uh, Opt. Opt first, but... Survivor? I'm not sure, honestly. I haven't been keeping up with it. Bottom. Hey! Little scry bug there, little scry bug. Untap. A braid. I mean, we're probably gonna... Exarch? I guess we don't want to Exarch. Just keep remand up and a braid. All right, now we're gonna Exarch. Splinter Twin? Nope. What's up, games? How's it going, everyone? Modern today. Everyone likes some modern, right? Seagate Reborn. Kiki, Jiki, no. Serum Visions, Aether Gust, Land, Land, Bottom, Bottom. Play Blue. I mean, slow beats here, but. Top Kraken, yep. New sub badges for everyone. You have a hockey number now. Your hockey number denotes your number of months subscribed. Almost. It's not like to the month exactly, but if you're a two year subscriber, do the math and so on and so forth. We're working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes, and uh, perhaps most importantly is, is this. What is up, my YouTube friends? It's time to join the Pile Drivers. Memberships are here for YouTube. Let's go, Jace. Memberships, Woo! check it out. I post my deck list. Same as uh, Twitch membership. As well as on YouTube. But now it's on YouTube. Well, on YouTube, folks, check it out. All right, red, green, no, yes, red, blue. Ritual, that's fine. Ritual again. Um, this will be four. This will be six total mana. This is also fine. It's eight mana. We, we, we have a braid too if they cast a, a belcher. So, holiday card information is in Discord. They're going to go out probably Monday. Char belcher. We're going to remand it because if they have a. Uh, a spirit guy, we're dead, so.
If you'd like your holiday card, you got to get your information to me. The uh, the Google form is in the Discord. Pact of Negation. Okay. Um, so if they have a spirit guide, we're dead. But if they don't, we're going to kill their, their culture. they play land yet? They didn't play land yet. Losing this game would really suck. Uh. <sighs> They're dead. So we uh, to braid this response. This is what I said about we're gonna win the game by beating them, not by or not by them, not by beating them. If that makes sense. Like they're so all in, they're just gonna go for it, and if it fails, we're gonna win. So. Got it. 1-0. 1-0 the old Splinter Twin. If you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button. Of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow them. Watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment. So we're not doing the, the cube anymore. We did a no blue Supreme Cube. It was pretty fun. Looked at that on YouTube. Missed it. Beating them by beating them. Got it, Chief. Got it. Thanks for following, mate. If you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button, of course. Who's pumped for Modern? I haven't played Modern in a while. I have not played much Modern lately. And if you're pumped, I would like you to let me know that you are pumped. Because I try and do things to make you all happy. It's kind of my job, you know. Kind of my job. Deckless is on the th on the overlay now. I forgot to do that. Let's go. Pumped. Oh, look at look at this mana base. Look at this mana base. Boil me. Boil me. Island sleight of hand. All right, a little uh, storm action probably. Shivan reef. Uh oh. <gasps> Bingo. All right. My filter lands though. I I I. I hate filter lands more than most people in the entire world. I cannot stand filter lands. I think they are so bad. But I guess with the boil, the boil mana base, you gotta play them. We gotta play them. And Kiki, I suppose. Slide of hand, sure. Go land Baral, please. So I can snap you back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Good start. Good start. What does it say about the state of modern that even the blue decks are playing boil? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A few months ago, I was showing off a con bag. Uh, what? What do you mean? Remand. Their opt went bottom. I think I'm comfortable jamming Crackling Drake here and just trying to resolve it. If they kill me, they kill me, I think. They can't resolve gifts on given in step. I guess without that without a ritual. So this is the turn to go for it, I think. The hex holder. That was a long time ago. They they have they haven't sponsored my stream since since uh since COVID. Because obviously being as a uh, being a travel bag company in uh COVID time is not a good place to be, unfortunately. Yeah, that was the hex holder. Uh, Reman sucks, but sure. The hex holder is uh, it's an awesome bag. Um, I'm not even sure what they're what's going on with them right now, but um, they had to pull their sponsorship when COVID hit because they couldn't afford it anymore. Because obviously having a travel bag and COVID's kind of tough. But great product. Then we check it out. All right, so now we can't play crack. We can't play the Drake again. So now it's just like land go deceiver X arc up. Reman too. They have gifts here. It's a kind of annoying, but they might not play it into my mana. So, all right. So we gotta re reman this. Unfortunately, Which doesn't feel great, but right. If they go over past in flames, you can just like remand it. Maybe this is fine. Maybe this is fine. Oh, the card's way too big for a hex holder. I 
think it's fine. Like the card we're scared of is like is the card that makes gifts and giving good is passing flames, and we just like put it in the graveyard, and then remand it. Should be fine. Yeah, so this is like this is like the value. So we uh, we'll put the past in flames and the seer missions in their graveyard. So they get so basically it's a draw two. So good good on us to not counter it because it's just like just draw two cards basically. So they have a metamorphose and a slight, which is fine. Slide of hands fine. Now we can get the uh, the X arc in play too. Metamorphose, yeah. Uh -huh. Ritual, okay. Grape shot, okay. Sorry, Snapcaster Mage. You did. And they burned all the cards we knew about. Four in the pool, empty for four. It's fine, I guess. So I guess we're gonna remand one of these. I guess we have to keep remand for passing flames, so maybe not actually. But we have we'll have two blockers. I think we're fine here. Right? Eight, maybe not. This is five to flashback, and they have two cards left. We gotta we gotta remember, remember one of these. It sucks, but I think we have to. Oh my god, Temple of Infinity. Would you stop? And I said, what about Temple of Epiphany? All right, we have to draw a spell here. Please, please draw a spell. That's a spell. Oh, it's so awkward, though. Um, oh, man. Because we want to cast Crackwing Drake, but... <sighs> play Crackwing Drake, they can just like play a land and flashback past them with flames and kill us. All right, we'll just play Temple. Let's say go. Valakit Awakening. It's kind of interesting, honestly. I'm going to keep us on top. Mono Blue Delver. What format? Say attack for seven here. You can also like cryptic tap their team too if we have to. I prefer not to do that, but Spire Bluff go. Shark Flynn, reset, thanks so much. I mean, Balakit will dig pretty deep for a, uh, pretty deep for a, uh, a Kiki. I think that's our plan. Hope they didn't naturally draw a grape shot and just kill us. <laughs> Sports Center alert, they have grape shot, you're dead. All right, so we're going to counter draw here. They have two cards. No remand, please. One, two, three. Can I get a Kiki? Mm -hmm. 
Alright, can I get a Kiki? Come on. They have six. Alright, well now I can like Crackling Drake and then play Exarch and tap one of these. And we'll have three blockers. We'll survive. Right, four and three. Yeah. Alright. If they have anything, we're dead, but I think we're I think we're just gonna go. We could try and draw two, but then if we if we don't draw Kiki and exactly land, we just lose. So we can just like chill. Um play crackling Drake. Opt. Alright, and then we'll uh Spire Bluff go, and then we'll upkeep the X arcs. They can't remand it if they draw remand. So we currently have we're at two effectively. Metamorphose. This is desperation. Anamorphos. Okay. So don't draw passive flames. Don't draw grape shot. Don't draw. They got nothing. They got nothing, folks. No grape shot. Don't you do it. Our turn. Magmatic sinkhole. All right. Let's draw two. Oh. oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! Hey! Game. <laughs> Blouses. <laughs> All right. Um. They're playing fetchless because they don't have, they have this, this, the pain lands. We don't want the we don't want the boils. Um, we want dispel relics, explosives to deal with the empty tokens, mystical disputes, aether gust. I don't think so. Maybe. What do we not want? We don't want sinkhole. Um, Flusterstrom's dope. Spell Snare is dope. That's a lot of abrades, man. Two main, two main, two board abrades. Uh, that's a lot of abrades. We do want to kill their creatures. I don't think we need that many abrades. I think Crackling Drake's like pretty bad. Cryptic Command's also not great because they're definitely going to have disputes too. Uh, hmm. Interesting. What do we do here? What do we do here? I'll cut cryptics, I think. Just super, super clunky and slow. Maybe we, like, don't want Aether Gust? I don't know. Remand's, like, not great. It's like fine. It's not particularly awesome. You can like maybe shave a Kiki. Hmm. Maybe you don't want Aether Gust. It's like okay, but not particularly great. Twenty-two. 24 lands with the with the awakening technically awakening seems pretty good Definitely want to make land drops, so I think this is fun A braid's fine. It's not like super exciting. It's worse than bolt They only have like eight creatures in deck. We, we have to kill their creatures. They only, they only have eight of them, so we don't want to overload <laughs> And I said what about <laughs> Temple of Epiphany all right, uh, we're going to keep. Play 
Awakening to have to be have to also. So you have like Temple on one, and then either Bolt, Tap Land on two, or Remand on two. So they play a two drop, you get to kill it, which is cool. How's everyone doing this fine Friday? Talk to me. Talk to me. Let me know your feelings. Serum Visions, yes. Do your thing. Just finish your finals, I'm feeling great. I like that. I remember finals. Scry 2, top bottom, pretty average. Dispute's a great draw, that's pretty cool. Temple Epiphany, Spire Buff Canal, top. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Sweet Borg, yes. Soon, soon, soon. Had one too many white Russians last night feeling meh. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Getting old sucks. Uh, Alright, let's play Lance Egg up. Taking two days off. Sweet. Holidays are coming. Everyone's pumped. Cube drafts are coming. You know what I mean? We're just playing the pool and saying go. I mean, not really in a huge rush here. Probably playing this as a land next turn. Because our hand's pretty awesome and I don't really want to cast it, so. Mild interest in casting Lightning Bolt so I can snap bolt them next turn if they don't do anything, but. How's the house? It's going. It's going. I still got to finish the dining room and the. Uh, the hallways, I gotta finish the living. I like wire of a living room and stuff too. Um, play Awakening. Just say go. How's the cube showdown work? I'll explain it after this match. Very, very exciting event coming up. Karn's doing good. He's, uh, he's rambunctious. All right, just gonna say go. End step metamorphose. Okay. Opt. Okay. What I miss most about paper magic? Hanging out. Just like, you know, after tournament, all gotta get drinks, get a nice meal somewhere. Just the the entire experience. I just miss traveling. I just love traveling. Sleight of hand. Alright. Um can bolt snap bolt here and defend it with a dispute. Sure. Let's get on the board here. And we still have our dispute up for their gifts, so they might resolve that. They're going to dispute my Snapcaster Mage. I'm going to remand it, remand it back to my hand. Remand targeting my Snapcaster Mage. They have a counter here, so be it. Another dispute. Mm, whatever, I guess. Trade two cards for two cards. Could be worse. Opt. Sure. Fiery Islet. Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll still be playing in events. I'm not going to play a ton of events, but, you know, like TwitchCon. You know, no TwitchCon. Sucks. Kiki Jiki Mirabiki. All right, go to the bottom. Snapcaster Mage again. Eh, I'm gonna wait. Island. Right. SG Con, sure. Hmm. I didn't board a Crackling Drake, did I? Maybe I shouldn't have. It's a little hard to beat them with uh, the Kiki combo. Alright, so we're going to play Brawl. And we're going to let this happen. So we get to bolt it in response to their first spell. They want to play a spell here. 
Nice little attempt to snap bolt it. Sure. That's even better than bolting them. It actually puts us up a card. Oh, you love to see that. You love to see that. Sports Center alert. You love to see that. We are a little light on action here. I'm not going to lie. We've got a lot of lands, and uh, our bolt isn't great. Aria of Flame. Yeah, that's bad for us. We're going to remand that. Rangers still suck, huh? I don't know, my friend. I keep seeing posts. Grape shot? Sure. I keep seeing posts that are like top rookies in the NHL. I can't say his name. Lafreniere, Shesterkin, 1 and 2. I'm pumped. It's a good time to be a Rangers fan. They have four cards left and an Islet. We have more mana. Explosives is not great. Yeah, Jack Johnson's not very good, but whatever. All right, bottom, bottom. All right, I mean, we're a little light on gas here. I'm not going to lie. Um, we can answer. That's Aria Flame again. Yeah, okay. Probably going to lose this card. We can answer Goblins with Explosives, but... We just have like nothing. We just, we just literally cannot stop drawing lands. I'm gonna hold this land, I guess, because we have uh, we have one more Valakit. Maybe not. Just soft counters and stuff. Oh boy. Okay. That's pretty good. It's not like they have hard counters, so. End step, gifts ungiven. That's that's going to be a no for me. The question is, do we counter it with Archmage's Charm or try and draw cards with Archmage's Charm? we got to counter it, I think. As much as I would love to draw a counter spell and counter it, if we can't, we can't let this resolve, which we're, we're just going to lose. So. Still not sacking the Islet, which is terrible for us. It means they have so much gas in their hand. <sighs> Come on! Killing me! Oh my god, really? Ah, oh, we're dead. We're super dead. There's no spells, you know? No spells. Barra. Dead. Next game. Not a very good draw, though. Not a very good draw. Um, man, what do we want to do here? What do we want to do here? Certainly a lot of counter spells. Aria Flame is kind of tough. We don't have that many ways to like deal with it permanently. They've got to have explosives. I mean, uh, empty the warrants in their deck, too. Cut the abrade. It's kind of a long game. I didn't play any, play any electromancers. Resolving Crackling Drake just seems too tough. I think. I mean, is it easier than uh, is it easier than trying a Kiki combo? What if we could just like cut the Kikis and the Exarchs and bring in the Crackling Drakes and the Cryptics and the abrade and just try and like beat them fair? I guess it does seem pretty hard to resolve Kiki against them. Just like do this and this. In this, and bringing the gusts also. I kind of like this actually. I 
I'm gonna bring Leave and one upgrade over Awakening. Now we're not trying. Now we're not trying to combo them. So let's try this. Let's try this. <laughs> Somebody's playing a prank on me. All right, Mulligan. Ah, and I said, what about? I'm gonna keep this and ship. I actually like Spell Snare and Dispel a lot. Um. I'm gonna dump the temple. Just turn one visions. I don't find his lands. Relic and Flusterstorm. Those are both pretty awesome. We just don't have any lands though. And this cryptic command looks terrible. Oh man, both cards are so good. But if we don't make land drops, we just can't win. I think we gotta bottom both of these. Which is just terrible, but I don't think have a choice. Flusterstorm is pretty redundant, and then Relic is better later in the game, but we just aren't in a spot to do that yet, so. We gotta make some land. Now, now we're, we're gonna be stuck, maybe stuck on two lands here for like 10 turns in a row. Drew of a lands last game, you know? Come on. Who could have seen this coming? Who could have seen this coming? Opt goes top. Their vision was bottom bottom, which is kind of cool, I guess. There we go. All right. Saying go. Now we kind of want to draw like 10 lands in a row, honestly. Manamorphos. There is some temptation here to just burn a spell snare. So you have to discard the hand size. Um, despite spell snare obviously being very good against them. Just like, we just can't discard the hand size next turn. That would be just terrible. This does not feel good, but. Aria of Flame. No, oh, God. All right. We can like cryptic bounce that maybe at some point and sleight of hand too. Gross. Gross. Had that dispute, couldn't have like reman or something else. <laughs> Come on. Now someone's actually playing a prank on me. Oops. I mean, they've already cast like a bajillion cantrips, so if they could like slow down on that, that'd be pretty cool. Thirty life. All right, so no land drop now, and they're saying go. Um, we just need to draw like four lands in a row. <laughs> they're gonna upkeep, cast gifts ungiven. Uh, so we decide want to dispute this or dispel it. I think it's a dispute. Dispute's only getting worse. And then we're gonna draw a land. It is a land. Can't complain. Can't complain. Um, Ricard says, hey Jim, wanted to say you are such a good, enjoyable streamer. Enjoy your content. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. All right. Well, probably not a great spot for us, but hopefully Dispel can do it. Bolt this. See what they do. Four mana is fine. Not Dispelling here. 
or five mana, I guess. If they have passing flames, we can just copy. Oh, so this, this, this is actually great for us. If they pass the flames here, and we just dispel the first ritual. So, like, that's actually pretty insane. They still have it in their graveyard, but... Oh, they're going to play Sleight of Hand. Wow. What a heads-up play. They could have gone Ritual, Manamorphose, Sleight of... That's like... They're going to hard read me for, for exactly Dispel. That's pretty... That's a little suspect. How in the world do you not play Desperate Ritual there? Like... You just go Ritual, Manamorphose... You, you, you cast four spells. The only card... That it plays around is this dispel because I can't I obviously can't dispute a uh, ritual or metamorphose. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. All right. Well, now I get to bounce Aria Flame. Like, would have just killed me. You know, playing on Spell Snare. That's true. I guess Spell Snare is the same thing. That's fair. All right, we drew a land. Spell Pierce. I mean, who plays Spell Pierce, you know? Metamorphose, sure. Empty the Warrens. Okay. That's not an explosives. I mean, we are still alive though. We can snap bolt a token, block a token, and then abrade a braided token and go to one. So I guess there's that. Probably have like nine disputes in their hand, but Yeah, I guess the place has spell snare too, but alright. Um I mean, they have basically anything we're dead. Does seem like we're just like struggling to win, like against the deck with this much interaction. They don't even have, like, like they're a storm deck. They don't have that much interaction, but, like, trying to beat them with the Splinter Twin combo just seems, like, really rough. There's a lot of mystical disputes. All right, I guess. I mean, I guess our opponent's a master. I don't, I don't know. But one and one. One and one. One and one. Kiki-jiki. Definitely uh, missed a few too many land drops that game. Just like the Crackle Drake gets hit by Dispute, does make the card much worse for sure. Um, I can almost see boarding card like Rabble Master. So you just have like a non blue threat in a matchup like that. Could be a thing. Separate card. Opponent! Come on! Call us Pearl. We got time to talk about it. Call us the Godfather. The new shirt from Call Us the Godfather. Check it out. Call us Pearl. Shop. Promo code Jim10. It's 10% off your order. Call us the Pearl. Shop. Super comfortable. Great, great Christmas present. Just fun designs. There's just so many of them. They're so comfortable and awesome. Check it out. Call us the Pearl. Shop. Promo code Jim10. It's 10% off your order. Also check out bcwsupplies.com. Best gear in the market. Not close. Card sorting trays, deck boxes, binders. All the best stuff. Promo code Jim10, 10% off your order. And uh, save some money. You can buy a five-pack of the Elite 2 deck card sleeves. Less than $6 a pack. You can buy a five-pack and use my, my, my promo code. Check it out. bcwsupplies.com. It's getting warm in here. All right. <laughs> I'm glad we have one Temple of Epiphany. I'm glad we have one Temple of Epiphany in our deck because we draw it every single time. And I get to sing... And I said, what about... All right, so Luris something. Probably like Shadow or something like that. Foothills. Foothills go. Is a burn deck, maybe? Uh, I guess we have Op Spell Snare, so we're kind of interested in playing Island. 
Temple of Epiphany is literally the worst. This card should not be in the deck. Temple of Epiphany is terrible. Um... I think I like Island. Let's just leave Spell Snare up. It's like an oven in here. Like the, there's the two heating elements in this room. So like the rest of the house is like 70 degrees. And it's like 77 degrees in here. Just like, whew. Sorry, folks. I had to open the window. You know, just a foot of snow on the ground opening the window. All right, so Blood Crypt, Blood Crypt. Sky, Scorch, Sky Glaives. Good job on the spell snare. Smart, smart, smart. And... Now, I want to seal a Death Shadow with my uh, my Archmage's Charm. That's what I want to do. That'd be charming. Serum Visions, just bottom that. We could be better than that. We're casting Opt, too, so. The deck is just not. The deck is playing no fetch lands and no shock lands because we're playing Boil in the sideboard. So, playing a bunch of blue red duels that are not islands. Inquisition of Kozilek, sure. Yep, there goes my charm, sure. Bomac Courier, okay. Magmatic Sinkhole, um, no, don't want that. <laughs> Bingo. Charmed, I'm sure. All right, so, bluffs. Okay, um, we'll just play, we're definitely interested in bolting this courier, we can just wait on it, I guess, leave charm up, if I stack Bomat cards, go to opponent, no, we'll, we'll control courier, we'll discard our hand and draw the cards out oh, of their owner's hands, you're right, you're right, you can't put your opponent's cards into your hand, I guess, so, play land, here comes courier, um, this is fine. I guess. We bolt here, we take down Archmage's Charm, so we can just bolt on their up on their next draw step. It would be, it would be cool to draw their cards, yes, I agree. They're just gonna sack the courier right now. They've been a push and draw two. Sure, I mean it's fine. It's pretty aggressive, honestly. Cause I know I have this, but Thoughtseize. I think we draw two in response. We just want raw cards. All right, sure. Take the Kiki. That's fine. I mean, Exarch is like pretty reasonable as far as uh, like tapping an attacker or something like that. Place a spear, and they can't attack because they're already attacked. Sure. Um, opt. Sure. I mean, we probably want to save Bolt for for Luris, I guess. So we're just saying go. This is fine. Could tap it or block, but I'm just not really in a rush. I might end up actually playing the Awakening end step. We'll see what our draws are and stuff, but... Put Luris in hand and say go. Okay, so 
Start with the opt. Bottom spiral buff, you know. Another Exarch. And they're going to get at least something off of the Lurus if we don't counter it. We could, like, play Awakening here and ship, like, the Aboro and the extra Exarch. That's not bad. Sure. Take a large amount of removal spells. All right, so this is fine. We'll just play Spire Bluff. Have some bolts up. Suppose the worst thing would be them playing Lurus into Scourge of Skyclaves. That is too big to handle, and we can't really stop that anymore. Um, okay. Scourge is going to be a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, it's kind of just how it is, I guess. So abrade this, bolt the uh, the Luris, and let's find a Kiki. Plays. Bottom. Snapcaster Mage plays for Archmage's Charm. I like that. All right, so we're trying to Exarch the Scourge, and yeah, it's fine. We had them at three. Were they dead? You can't abrade them. Oh, Mrs. Bobble shirt. Snap bolt. Sure. Yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe I could have been a little more aggressive, but like, we don't know we're drawing snap and like we need to kill the creatures. Maybe you can hold a bolt there, but I don't. I guess kind of. I guess a little much. Tap that. Untap. And now we're drawing a uh, Snapcaster. We should be able to kill them with next turn. Attack for one. Bolt, snap, bolt. Attack for the remaining damage. That's kind of risky, though. Uh, they have a removal spell. And Scourge is going to kill us pretty quick here. I might just play Archmage's Charm. Taking six from this is pretty bad. Um, we can, like, flash and snap the chump block and then target the charm and then draw if they don't play anything. What's this? Full cost dismember? No. What is going on? It's having four. Oh, they have a, a cling to dust. I'm the worst. I just I just completely forgot about the cling to dust. That's really, really bad. Uh okay. That was a really bad play on my part. I screwed up. I forgot. I forgot it. Now we are in a bit of trouble. Oh my god, they have Bolt too? Alright. Yep, 
yeah we are uh in a bit of uh an issue here they draw a spell kiki preferably remand that is not good yeah we are we are in big doo-doo here we are in big doo-doo We could have like tapped like a land on their turn before the turn they were gonna cast Luris. So they couldn't play Scourge. That might have been better also. Tash, resub, thanks so much. Hey. Okay, well. Oh, we have one bolt left. Bowmat courier, sure. Remanding our own our own bolt last turn, like I guess we could have done that on our main phase. Play bad, win anyway. Can't play Kling, unless they have another Kling in their hand, which would suck, but. So yeah, we probably should have main phase Bolt remanded. I think, I think, I think y'all are right. And that would have given us the information if we want to know if we want to uh, attack with the 1-4 or not. I agree. I think you're all right. I screwed up, but. After it was all over, he took us in the house to serve his pancake. All right, so it is going to be hard to beat them with Kiki Jiki because they're next all removal and thought seizes. But bring in the explosives, uh, bring in. It's probably it, honestly. Say remand is pretty bad against them. Don't want boil, dispute, don't want gust. Don't really want to braid. Don't want wildfire. Yeah, that's basically it. I mean, spell snare is fine against them. It's not like great. It's probably better than remand is though, because uh, the the two drop is so important. Fluster storm's pretty bad, but it's still better than remand, I think. Um, relics like okay. Um. A braid's not great, but they have their one drops also. Sinkhole, sinkhole is pretty mopey because like things are usually really really big or small enough to bolt, but it could kill a a thing. I don't think I want relic. Relic better than FS. What's FS? Bust storm. I think storm countering a discard spell is like fine though. Like I think it's actually like actively fine. Um. And Relic is obviously a little awkward for us, too, because we are, we are definitely a full-on Snapcaster Mage deck. Let me bring these in, cut the sinkhole. Maybe just, like, the rematch is freaking awful. They're, they're, they're really bad, so just cut all of them. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Rematch is, like, all of our cards cost one, so rematch is just absolutely terrible. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, like, fine. Explosives is pretty good. You got ops and lands, so. Mish's booble. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there, watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and look for that join button. That flashy new join button. Ow. All right. Shocking. Drawn cards. Sure. One lander? Oh no, opponent. I'm just kidding. 
Just catch. Just pass for already second main, you know? Shock again. Sign in blood. That's kind of cool. All right, sure. You, you got it. That's kind of dope, actually. Oh, I missed. I misclicked. It's all right. It's fine. Oh, that's, that's not kept by two ops. Oh, what am I doing? All right, whatever. I was so taken aback by sign and blood. They got me good. What's up, mister? Thoughtseize. Yeah, whatever. Go nuts. Best burn spell in modern. Sign and blood. Not sure what they're taking here, honestly. Maybe explosives is probably the best card, but we got snare for a scourge. We have opt to find things. We have bolt for a bad creature. I must say, I did not expect him to take, to take a Kiki Jiki. That is surprising. Uh, but sure. Bobble again, sure. Inquisition again, I mean, sure. Whatever, discard spell. This one take explosives? Yeah, makes sense. All right, let's cast Op this time. Valakit Awakening, we're gonna bottom that. Blue land, please. Oh my god, you're killing me. Main phase opt. There it is. Now we need one of those uh, those filter lands I always make fun of. Flip lands are super cool, but they are they are locked in a color, which is a pretty big downside in decks like this. Death's Shadow. Don't play two of the. Oh, God. Why do they always have two? All right. Uh, yeah, that's really bad for us. What's up, dude guy? Hey! All right, I mean, I guess we're just going for it. Like, they still have four cards in hand. We can, like, X Arc. And like tap one of them. Flip lands to be fetchable? You're out of your mind. <laughs> They're already really good. You know? Alright. Begin a combat step. Don't want to deploy with Deceiver X Arc. Don't want to leave up Cryptic Command. We're taking so much damage if they fetch and we take, we take 12. And then our Cryptic kind of just doesn't do anything. So yeah, we're gonna play X Arc. We are exposing it. Uh, they can't bolt it. They can push it if they, you know, they want to. But oops. Do I have a guess that foretell is? Nope. And hey, my article's up. I forgot. Dismember. Which member? That's so bad for us. Uh. All right. You draw bolt, I guess. Right, like. All right, have Battle Rage. Oh, they're they're on a five? That's smart. That's smart. All right, well, uh... Just got to uh, tap a team and draw on their turn, I guess. Please play Scourge. Just play something that costs two. That is not a card that costs two. That is a Soul Guide Lantern. Okay. It's gonna be funny when we attack for two with this Kiki Jiki. Right. 
Really? They're going to pre-combat a spell? Um, So we can, like, counter this and tap the team, but I don't think it actually matters. We should discard a random spell snare anyway, so... Gotta draw bolt or snap. I say a blade lantern. Snap doesn't work. Oh. Old man Jim. No. Fog. Kiki number two. Come on. Bolt me, please. Come on. Give me the bolt. Oh. oh, it's Lightning Helix. Oh, my God. Upstairs and chat, please. Upstairs and chat, please. Better lucky than good. What's up, Dreadful? Nine months. Name our sub baby, please. <laughs> we drew pretty well in that match. I'm not going to lie. We drew pretty well. <laughs> Woo, boy. Why be good when you can be lucky? Absolutely. That's my motto. Why be good when you can be lucky? Oh, shnikes. Oh, whew. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. <laughs> Wasn't better lucky than good you played your outsaw game? I still got lucky though. Yeah. <laughs> played okay that game, but playing first. We haven't twin many people yet. Um Luris again. Alright. Sand's fine. We can keep this. I do like crackling Drake. I do like crackling Drake. Apathy's here. The one day apathy comes, you get lightning helixes all day. It's all you, apathy. You're just lucky. You're a good luck charm. You gotta come more often. You know? You gotta come more often. Lucky and good. I'm fine just being lucky. Crackling Drake. This is the blue boil deck. Kinda. Just like a... It's like Kiki Jiki, like Kiki Twin List I found on the 5 O's. Uh, it is playing the No Islands boil package, though. Point them all against the five. All right, so a boro, a boro, watery grave, hedron crab. What? Get off my plane. Mill me. No, we're gonna bottom this. You have enough rule spells here. Come on. Island. Okay. I guess I want to save the Abrade, right? Because uh, we have uh, they have Mesmeric Orbs, so... God, I hate Filderland so much. Maddening Cacophony. Mill eight. Mm, sure. Guess. Surgical extraction targeting Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker. That's just hella rude, alright? That's just hella rude. 
I gotta say, I'm, I'm old, my back hurts. Oh. Surgical extraction. Whoa, hello. I said down. Not up, down. Drake's gonna be big, that is true. That is true. Just gotta stop from killing our Drake. You used to call me on your... Alright, so... They have two cards in hand? Sure. And they know our hand. Alright. Enough with the bolts. Enough with the abrades. I've had enough. No more. I just need this crackling drake to go all the way here for me. Can't really defend it. Uh, but... What are you going to do? Just going to play crackling drake. We got a drake in a dream here. Maddening cacophony again. Okay. Sure. How about one really, really big Drake? Is that cool? Eleven four. Eleven four. No fetch land, no fatal push. Soul guide lantern. Crap. So if they have a fatal push, they can use the lantern to trigger the uh Revolt. Nope, they're gonna draw a card. Oh! Game. Blouses. Why play Splinter Twim? You can just play Crackwing Drake. It's a one card combo. Right? Right? That's pretty funny. Alright, so. Mill. Uh, disputes. What else do we want? I guess a braid kills the crabs and the mesmeric orbs. It's like actively pretty good. Flush storm seems good. Spell snare seems good. Remand doesn't seem great. Uh, magmatic sinkhole is pretty bad. Cryptic command's not great either, honestly. Just unban twin. Eh, I want to go. I don't want to go that far. Spell seems good. I'm just going to be able to just do, like... Kingdom's gifting subs. Holy crap. Or gifting a sub. Thanks, Kingdom. Mystic Narwhal, your sub. That's great. Congrats. Look at the Awakening. I'm just never going to cast that. Uh, it's fine. Luris. Because uh, you know if Twim is unbanned, there would just be some ridiculously stupid, like, Teferi, Ren and Six, you know, all the stupid cards plus Splinter Twin deck. That would be the most obnoxious thing ever. How's it going, Kingdom? Appreciate that. Uh, we're going to keep. I got the old crab. That's fine. We have Flusterstorm for a turn two spell. Hello. Exarch A. Combo A. Hedron Crab off Field of Ruin, but no fetch land. Okay. Spell Snare, Opt, Spire Bluff. Cockoff Oni? Yep. Flush Storm. Easy game. Untap and kill this Hedron Crab. Right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Snappy boy. Snappy boy. 
What's up, Zara? You folks today, welcome to the stream. This is a Kiki Jiki Splinter Twin deck that went 5-0 in a league. We're currently 3-1. Playing a modern today. Maddening Cacophony again. It's just powering up our Snapcaster Mage. Unless they have a Surgical, which would suck because we have Kiki in our hand. Why you gotta be so rude? That really sucks. But sure, whatever. Fine. Fine. What's up, Mr. Sweatshop? It's a funny name. Surgical on snap. Are you serious? Both surgicals hit a card in our hand? That's so sick. How are we gonna win now? We have like... We have two drakes. That's it. Yeah, Power Creep has not been super kind to Modern, but Modern's still pretty sweet. Exarch Beatdown. Just get right, get our Drake, you know? I only have one card left, like. They're pretty far from casting Luris. Thoughts on Teamer gifts to gifts ungiven? What is that? Am I hungry again? Ugh, my head's been hurting. I had like two drinks like two nights ago, and I feel like crap for two days. It's, it's unbelievable how, how awful being old is. Like, it's actually unreal. All right, 16 short turns. Gifts on Given deck that splashes green to have access to Veil of Summer. Is it like a Storm deck or a Value deck or what is it? All right. Well, they don't have any colors. All right, that cuts the clock down a bit. Yeah, I've seen that before. That, that, that's that's been a thing for a long time. So they can field me to get uh get their black. Pathway lands in modern. They're playable, but the the risks are definitely real. I should have gotten the mountain, maybe. Two bolts, but... Fatal push my Exarch. Ugh. Do we, like, remand this? I guess I could, like, up to bounce their Aboro, replay it, and kill it again. Yeah, that's fun. Bounce Aboro. Uh, ruin... We're going to remand this. We should draw a spell, I think. It does give us the value of them not, them not being up. What I said all about. But now they're going to mill my card that I put on top. Oh, no. Temple of Epiphany. Maybe we'll counter draw the crab. Honestly. We want, we want, we want to draw the, uh, the Archmage's Charm pretty bad. So, Nope. I feel the ruin. Interesting. Fill the room before playing crab. And now we're just say go. Mm, sweet. You're up. Sure. Uh, okay. We can't like use extra mana for anything, so. I, mean, I guess our kikis are gone. Let's get an island. Still have Luris in hand. Are they going to play the Luris? Wow. Does it mean they have a Mystical Dispute? Probably. But it means they can't cast the thing with Luris, so it's fine with me, I think. Counter draw. Wow. Alright, never mind. So their hand is Crab and three other cards. This game has been interesting. Sure. Should I find Crackwing Drake? Where's the Drake at? Crab. Sure. 
Field of Ruin. Sure. 25 cards left. Another, another bolt, another Exarch. Okay. So we can abrade the crab and they'll just field of ruin response, which is kind of fine. As we just save our mana. Let's just do this now. Can we by stealing their crabs? They have 43 cards left. That seems very ambitious. Just gotta let it die and not field of ruin us? Wow. Uh, they have visions from beyond. That's pretty good. All right, I didn't really, I didn't really think about that. That's bad for us. So we just expose ourselves to getting recalled. That's really bad. We have dispel in our hand too. That's let's make it work, I guess. Looking forward to drawing a Drake. Um, we've not drawn a Drake. There's two Drakes on our deck. Um, Tap Island. Hedron Crab. Sure. That's kind of a lot of cards. It's so now like... Do we have to bolt this crab? The crab also just blocks the, the Exarch. Oh man, this is this is gross. Alright. I get to mill six more cards if we go to bolt it now. We gotta bolt it. I feel so bad, but just please don't mill any drakes. Otherwise, they just, like, never crack either fetch. There's just no reason to do so. And they just keep slowly milling us, so... Alright. Don't mill a drake. No, I milled a drake! Let's it die. Wow. Alright. Untap. Crockwing Drake? I'm praying. <sighs> Please stop. Alright, attack for one. Still holding Field of Road. Interesting. Another crab? Crabs just won't go away. Oh my god! Stop it! Alright, so... Kill this in response. I played Cyberpunk yet? No, I don't, I don't really play games. Gruen Crab. Is this... Is this... Is this a joke? Someone playing a prank on me? I mean, all right, I guess. Bounce a Boro. Yeah, I mean, you can't bold, unfortunately, so. No Drake yet. Man, we're, we're on such a razor's edge here. If we, were, we say they milled a Drake, we're just inside. We just can't win. Drake. No, I keep burning bolts on other things. All right. Uh, I guess I'll do it now. 
Because if I, if I do it, I can do it on their turn and make them waste mana, but like, I also want to, I also just want to attack, so. Playing in the MCQ? You mean like the arena thing? No, I'm not, I'm not qualified. Oh, I should float it a mana, whatever. Please, God, don't mill. Please, God, don't mill. No Drake. No Drake! We did it! We have seven cards left, and there's a Drake in there somewhere. It's going to be our last card, for sure. It's so going to be our last card. They have three cards left. They can't have any crabs left, that's for sure. Oh my god. Draw step, surgical, crackling. Wait, what? Why is there a target on the Spire Bluff Canal? All right, it says crackling Drake in chat, so all right, so dispel this. I wanted to save a dispel to protect the Drake when we played it from a kill spell, but. All right. 10, and they're at 6. We actually need the Drake to win, because we have, uh... Maybe we draw an Exarch, but... Blood Chief's Thirst kicked on Exarch. That's fine. Talk about the Drake. Dispute can maybe protect Drake. We draw land, too. Please hold. Denmark Dan, resub. Love me some crackling Drake. Denmark Dan, you did it. Thank you. Aether Gust? I mean, I can't risk them milling it, so. Yeah, whatever. Dispute that. They got one card in hand, and this thing is a 23 4. So it is a combo by itself. We draw. Dispute. That's not bad. That's not bad. We have four cards left. We're dead to a great many things, but. Just gotta hold here. Just gotta hold. Bounce a Boro. Okay. No! Hello, darkness, my old friend. I'm sad. All right, game three, I guess. They did surgical two spells out of our hand, I guess. They basically had two free thought seizes. And we still almost won, so... Oh, no. How did that happen? I want some Ravel Masters in this board so bad. All right. No, they, they surgical Kiki and Snapcaster Mage. So... All right, let it ride. I guess, hold on, no, 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 I want the, I want the relics, I want the relics. Relic for uh, this and this. There's Relic and Fizzle Surgical. We got it in, we got it in. Remand our own spells a thing too. I'm kind of, I guess we, we gotta kill the stupid crabs, so if I'll storm dispel. Sure, Blame first. Uh, yes, fine. Rain, Risa, three months, thanks so much. Dark Slick Shores. Spire Bluth Canal. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Crap. Fetch land. Snap 
Land, land. Oh, don't, don't surgical my snap again, I swear. Surgical's fine, but when they get the card in your hand, it's a free thought seize. It's just, like, so stupidly insane. Alright, well. Let's have... Dispel? That's not the worst. Say go. Probably gonna upkeep bolt the crab. I think I broke resub. How the time flies. Hype hey, train. Jim. All right, we're gonna bolt the the crab now. Just whatever. They'll fetch mill three. No, another bolt, an archmage's charm, and a minamo. Play Island. Maddening Cacophony. Sure. Alright. Igor's upstairs. He'd he be sleeping. I usually just leave him alone. Um. Cam's on, but he's just not in the cage. All right. Untap. This dispel's job is to protect my crackling drake. Oh, God. They have, they have stupid surgical again. All right. They're going to surgical my... Oh, never mind. They're surgical, surgical and crackling drake. We can't allow that to happen, so... We have no counter spells in our graveyard. That sucks. We can't, like, snap something. All right, we're going to dispel this. Oh, come on. Really frustrating that these circles have just been free thought seasons every time. Um, all right. That really sucks. Got three cards left. Ezra, 30 months. Thanks for resetting. Appreciate that. All right. Play land. Say go. Into our hand now, too. Another crab. Okay. Um, so we got to, like, snap bolt the crab, I guess. They have two cards left. Should have, so should have sided up to two sided, sided up to seventy five cards. I mean, like these cards all aren't very good, you know. Uh, bolts. They have two cards left. That's not the worst. Like, no, we have Kiki, which kind of sucks, but... Actually, don't want to activate it. They're on Surgical. All right. I mean, they didn't put Loris in their hand, so... Kind of pop this relic. It's obviously really awkward with uh, the Kiki Jiki and the Snapcaster Mage, but got 
two cards in hand. We have 17 in our grave. And they're gonna... Sure. This puts 18 in the graveyard. So they still can't play the Ancestral Recall, which is pretty good. Why don't they do that? What's the purpose of fielding there? Archive Trap. Oh, no. They didn't play a trap in any of the first few games. They have the Recall, too? Come on. This is unreal. All right. Draw Opt. Sure. <laughs> Draw Opt. Sure. I guess we want the Lamp for Kiki. I mean, like, they have three cards. Hmm. We just, like, jam? Like... I don't think I bother copying the stack. Just five mana goblin chariot, whatever, no big deal. I mean, like, removing Kiki isn't easy for them. They have to have a kicked blood chief thirst. They can't push it, obviously. I only have fourteen cards left. They might, might just be dead here. Eight cards left. And they have the Blood Chief's Thirst, too. All right, I guess. One card left now. Um, and of course, unfortunately, they have Luris still waiting, too. And we got to kill the Crab. Then also need to kill the Luris, and they can play the Luris before I can even do anything, so it's a guaranteed uh, thing. It's gotta be pretty hard to win this game with seven cards in our deck. Mesmeric Orb? Nope. Get off my plane. Oh, come on. Alright, whatever. Alright, it's a pretty frustrating match there. Um, every surgical they cast was basically some free thought seize. And uh, we're a little light, a little lacking in alternate ways to win. I think that like two or three Goblin Rabble Master would be really, really solid this sideboard. We've seen it multiple times now. We just want some non-blue, faster way to win. And uh, we got punished both times. So, the deck doesn't seem great. Um, the Kiki is like, we've only actually comboed once. Or mostly winning because the blue cards are fine. Um... Not quite Splinter Twin, but we'll see. We'll see. We're two and two. Two and two. Kuranos is too slow. It's also bad against Mystical Dispute. I think you're looking for cards specifically that aren't bad against Mystical Dispute. Mr. State Puffed. New sub. What's your name? Where you from? Thanks so much. Serum. One land Serum Vision? Sure. Let's keep it. I'm a draw. All day. All day I keep this. Thing in the Ice? That's fine. It's possible, like, this Splinter Twin combo which isn't even good. Elvish Reclaimer? That card's pretty good. We gotta kill that card. They have a... Oh, what's it called? A Flagstone's just way too good, so... Might not make a land drop next turn, but... We obviously have two draws to find one anyway, so... Volcanic Awakening has been... Yeah, it's been okay. Oh my god. There it is. Oh, yeah. There they all are. Keep them coming. Obviously, Cascade Bluffs is, is really frustrating because a uh, little filter lands, smelt snare, but what are you going to do? Ghost Quarter? Sure. 
They have the 2-4. Sure, that's pretty bad. Um, So we have like Reman, which is really good against Titan, but we're not great against the uh, Dryad. It's very hard to kill for us. Once they get Field of the Dead going, this could get ugly. Depends on how many paths they have. So obviously our, they seem a little soft to Kiki. That is interesting. So we can snap here and block this and then just bolt it. That's kind of big game, actually. They ain't casting a Titan this turn, so... Target bolt. We're going to line up our block and put a stop at our end of combat step. I'll say a pad, a pad the exile. That is also acceptable. Just got a free rampant growth out of it. Sure. Oh, that's true. They have castle. That's true. You're right. I forgot castle exists. But Abbas is dead anyway, so. Um. No, they can. They can go, like, land castle, but... All right, pat this. They missed the land all bus turn, though, I think. So, island. We were drawing a land next turn anyway, so now it's no longer a thing for us, but... Crack fetch, sure. Vesuva, copying snow-covered plains. That's kind of weird, because why would they not copy one of my lands to get a unique name land? Because now their Field of the Deads are worse. That's a little weird, but sure. End step, use the bolt, draw a land. Okay. And now I have Archmage's Charm and Remand. This seems fine. They burned a path, too, so... Eldamari's Call. Cute. Could spell snare it, but like, maybe actively want them to get Titans. So we can keep remanding it. They're getting Elvish Reclaimer, though. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's cute. Um, maybe I should have spell snared that. I definitely want to draw, so I... All right. Stealing it is not great. They seem to be light on lands, though. They're saying go, too. Yeah, we're just drawing cards. Just set up our combo and kill them. Explore. All right. Draw two. Probably going to spell nervous explore. Yeah, definitely. Spell Snare this. Let me get to Opt. Keep them on five lands. Have Remand up. Let's find, find an XR can kill them. Sub Morse. Uh, a Braid? That's fine. It kills the Reclaimer. No, it doesn't. They can go score to themselves. Oh, I screwed up. All right. I guess they go score to themselves, which is just Stone Rain. It's just like fine, I guess. So. Oh. <gasps> Let's do that. Let's do that. So we're gonna upkeep uh, a braid, or no? We'll braid the reclaimer now. Make them ghost core to themselves, so they can't use the reclaimer response. Yeah. Okay. So they can ghost core to themselves. This is basically a two mana stone rain. And then we're not going to show our XR, I don't think. So they're going to do that, sure. I 
Got one card in hand. End step. Eldamari's call again. What are they gonna get this time? This is fine. We have Exarch untap, reman something, and then just could key them. It basically just like have to draw path this turn, I think. What's up, Ross? We're gonna get a Titan? That's ambitious. Bajookabog. You're dead. You're dead. You lose. Splinter Twin. Please don't make me do it. Really appreciate it if you didn't do that. Thank you, opponent. Good sport, meat sauce. All right, so the boils come in. The boils got to come in, right? It's like not even a, a question. The boils come in. I don't know why I asked. I'm sorry. Boils are in. Gusts are in. Wildfires are in. Um, what's out? A braid? The bolts aren't very good either, honestly. Flusterstorm is pretty bad. Spell snare cuts everything. Boyle doesn't come in. Ross. Get off my plane. Of course, Boyle comes in. All right. Come on now. I plan any more decks? Yeah. Uh, at least one more. All right. So these are gone. Spell snare hits explore and Eldamari's call. Uh, which is like. Not super great, but does help keep serve on the draw. Braid, Dispute. I'm going to cut like a, a bolt or two. The bolts are pretty bad. Um, let me cut an Awakening. Card is bad. Keep Spell Snares. Three Mans are good. Exarchs, Charms, Cryptics. Crackling Drake isn't great either, but does fly over zombie tokens if the game gets to that point. So it seems good. I guess they could have Veil of Summer in their deck. So maybe we're interested in Dispel. To win the Veil of Summer War. Counters. Yeah, she was bringing a Dispel over a Spell Snare. It counters Eldamari's call as well. Stupid. Stupid Veil of Summer. Uh, yeah. Sounds great. Not been too impressed with Valakid Awakening, but... <sighs> hey, Ross, are you still here? Forest go. Powerful opening. Seer Visions. Spell Snare, Spire Bluff. Well, Spell Snare is worthless now. It's turn two, so that's bottom, and then lands bottom. Ross, I officially challenge you to a Mog Monday showdown. First Monday in January. My goblins versus your Arclight Phoenixes. Modern, historic, and pioneer or legacy. Your choice. You've been formally challenged. Do you accept? Three matches, players champ style. And you gotta bring your best deck that's not like anti goblins or I can't play main deck ley lines, etc. That like the list you would play in a tournament. If your computer is fixed by then, ooh. Ooh. Okay, maybe we'll, maybe we'll wait for you for like February then. But I challenge you at some point. So I think that would be a fun one. Alright, so... You just have nothing going on. We have Reflecting Pool. Another Exarch. Alright, we're going to Serum. We'll probably play the uh, Valakit Tapped here. Alright, that, that's cool, Ross. I'll, I'll, I'll put you off. Kiki Jiki who? Bottom. Top. I guess the Dispel also defends against Path, which is kind of cool too, so... We're ready to roll here, though. We're ready to roll. 
Tourney of the Tribes. Yeah. No, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't challenged anybody yet. I will. Don't worry about it. I got it. I just figure Ross is here. And I have Arc Light Phoenix in the mind because I'm playing a blue-red deck. Eldamari's Call for Elvish Reclaimer. They only have one land in the bin, so this is very boltable. Radiant Fountain. Sure. That's pretty good. Dried into Castle Garenbrig. Ooh, that's, that's really good. Oh boy, I might have a problem here, actually. Because now he cast Titan next turn. Uh-oh. Um, okay. Where's that boil at, you know? I need a boil. I need it now. We can, like, Exarch and then Bolt the Reclaimer. The problem is that they have Titan, where it's, like, dead. I guess we could, um, we could just tap Garenbrig on their upkeep. Which isn't really great for us, but... Alright, let's do that, I guess. We have two cards left. If we bolt the reclaimer, we're just doing nothing. I guess we could, we, I guess we could also X arc on tap bolt. Then all we need is a land and a titan, and we're just we're just like pretty dead. Uh, so if they want to be slow with reclaimer, I think that's fine. It does kind of suck that um. Every land taps for white for path. So we, we can't, like, keep them off path with one tap. All right, so they're going to reclaim her. Sure. Flagstones. Cute. I do like their deck. I have a, a Bant version of this that kind of queued up right now. No uh, no land, actually. Okay. Remand is also kind of hot. Um, we can bolt the Reclaimer right now and still have Exarch or Remand up. I think that might actually be best. So they can't play. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Because they're never short on lands. Okay, we need some way to put a land in the graveyard, which they probably can't do, so let's do that. And now we have Remand and Exarch available, or Snap Bolt. And they go for Titan, we just Remand it and kill them, so that's cool. Not going for Titan, sure. So we're going to play Exarch. Tap Dryad. God, I just want to draw Boil so bad. You should have Boil, please. Get a boil, please. No. Mm. Not going for it into their three three spells in hand. Keep up the great games, Jimbo Slice. As resub month number two, most important month. Thank you, appreciate that. All right, and uh, we say go here. They naturally draw Field of the Dead. Well, that sucks. Uh, and they're not going to attack either. All right, that's not cool. That's definitely complicated. Another Exarch. Oh man. Uh. Coward has been called. Coward has been called in chat. All right, I guess go. Get like snap seer missions. Yeah, I mean that's that's like fine. So we need to make enough progress to, like, go for it eventually. And they're, obviously, they're obviously not biting on the on the bolt, so... We draw Snapcaster Mage, Inspire Bluff, and then another Snapcaster Mage. We just, like, don't need these cards. Inspire Bluff's pretty bad, too. Let's bottom that. Alright. Three cards in hand. So many cards. Blast zone? That's mega awkward. Alright. Now, uh, Exarch beats are off. Oh! I was just thinking in my head, where's my dispel? And there it is! We found it! 
That's 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 good. That's real good. I guess I can pump Blast Zone to three. Um, but we can we can use XR to tap that if we have to. I guess maybe not. I don't even know. Whatever. We'll see what they do. I could draw land. That's a land. Cleansing Wildfire, Archmage's Charm. Wow, that's some boomers right there. All right, top top. No attacks. Gonna play this land. See if they put the old Blast Zone to three. Looks like they will. Smart. Another field? Wow. Just natty draw both fields? Sicko. Sicko. All right. So we untap. And we're going to wildfire the blast zone. They'll probably pop it response, uh, which will kill their dryad also. But then we're just set up to Exarch and then untap and kill them with, with the spell back up. So that's great. Life is good. Life is good. I don't care about no zombies. I don't care about no zombies. They're just letting it happen. Wow. All right. Meat sauce. Yeah, that's the thing. You can make some tokens. All right, I mean, you're up. They have double path? That would suck. I don't like a tummy can do about that, I guess. They have two paths, like... We don't have enough mana to, like, double defend, so... Puts them to two zombies. We take four. It's fine. Can draw two off of our Archmage's Charm. There's like not, they don't actually need to do anything, which is kind of sick. They just never need to like, should draw Boil. That's what I want to do. Or just draw Boil. Kill all their lands. Oh! Bingo! All right. <laughs> Upkeep stop, please. Thank you. Draw. We will lose one of our islands. But, uh, Ross, oh, you better still be here, Ross. You better still be here, Mr. Mr. Don't put boil in your deck. Don't put boil in your deck. Upkeep. Oh, 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 oh. Path to Exile, their own Dry to the Elysian Grove. Uh, no, actually. You can't do that. Sorry. Get off my if they have two paths, we just kill them on our turn. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to remand our own Dispel. We could actually remand the... Nah, the boil's fine. We could remand the boil, but I want to save a dispel for the kill next turn, so... Remand dispel. Now nah, the boil's done with. The, the dryad's already dead, so we can't... We're not, if we remand boil, we just never play another dryad, you know? Alright, so they get the path, make some zombies... Boyle kills my island. That's fair. That's fair. It's okay. Now I need to have two more paths or they're dead. So you need to have the full four paths. Q 
Kiki. Target. Oh, man, they made me do it now. <sighs> Alright, so untap target and save targets. This one. And always yield. Celestial Purge targeting Kiki Jiki. Uh, dispel. Which spell? Dispel. <laughs> okay. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. That's fine. So. Now we just keep playing magic, I guess. We still have plenty of stuff in play, so. Uh, sure. Say go. If they have Titan too. I mean, like, I, I, I got nothing. I guess they had, they, they've got, they have it all, and they really laid it up perfectly. Nothing but my, my, uh, my, my admiration if they have a Titan as well. Like they haven't done anything for the last like six turns, so it makes sense they had like a lot of it. Didn't think they would have four things, but they have Titan too. <laughs> Inconceivable. Okay. So now we need to find another another uh, another Kiki. All right, so that's pretty bad for us. Now they have like a million, a million zombies. How do I remove? There we go. I got it. If only Boyle didn't kill my island. <laughs> if only Boyle didn't kill my island. You're right. You're right. <laughs> oh man. All right, so we've got to opt. And find Kiki, I guess. We have two more Kikis. Bottom. All right, sure. That's true. The boil forced double path. So here we go. Okay. Um... We remand our own op. It's not enough mana. So we need to, like, gust the titan and tap one of the zombies and make some blocks and try again next turn. So... We also want to be able to cast... We want to re remand our own spell, probably. They just, like, don't cast a spell. So we have to cast gust on their turn, exarch on their turn, and possibly remand. So we got we to opt. Just cast it. Any non-Kiki has to go, so bottom. Crackling Drake. Hmm. I'm a man of culture. I see a Crackling Drake and I get interested. Um, it's currently at 10. Gus is 11. Remand is 12. Remand is 13. We can Crackling Drake and then Gus the Titan. Block two, three zombies, and go to four. And if we can just find, I guess all of our bolts are out of a deck. It's unlikely we can bolt them. So getting to 17 is actually, we have two bolts. Getting a 17 is actually pretty difficult, but we just draw a card. Like, so I think this is like fine. Draw a card. Uh, it doesn't really help at all, so... Okay, I mean, it's a redraw next turn. So we say go. We're going to... Uh, we just get the Titan in their, in like their later... Like, whatever, in their com before, before combat. So there's no rush on that.
Another Celestial Purge? Is this a joke? Somebody's playing a prank on me. This is this is actually a joke. Someone is playing a prank on me. What? <laughs> Alright, I guess they got us. I guess they got us. Um I mean, they're obviously four path. No, we're dead now. We're dead now. They have enough to kill us. All right. I guess we're dead. I guess he got us. I didn't think that they would have an, uh, the, 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 the fifth and sixth removal spells to kill us. Okay. Uh, game three. Game three. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think we're going to be interested in um, our Fluster Storm and Spell Snare now because they're playing so many... Uh, they're slaying so many Celestial Purges. They've seen Boil now, so Boil might lose a little bit of its luster. Um, we can just crack, cut, cut the bolts. I guess then we're, we're kind of soft to Reclaimer. I think Awakening's pretty bad. Um, I'm not cutting Boil. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Remand, Aether Gust, Wildfire... Like, Sinkhole kills the 2-4. I almost didn't want to kill, but I just got to cut the Sinkhole. Sinkhole's terrible. Uh, all right, let's do this. <laughs> what a silly game. What a silly game. I mean, like, I guess they played really well. Like, I mean, didn't think to play around that much of it. Like, definitely felt like they had multiple paths. That's why we didn't go for it for a while, but... Uh, go on first. Hand's good. Point ball against the six. Double cascade bluffs. The dream. Perfect mana base. All right. Spire bluff canal. Opt mountain kiki. Um, I like opt. Cause like that, that means my snapcaster can be proactive on their turn. I don't think we really need mountain though. We can do better than that. We have a lot of cantrips. The next few turns are just like all cantrips, so. <laughs> Valakit the Molten Pinnacle. You got it. Just your casual one mana spell. Cascade Bluffs, you know. Forest. Explore. Tangled Florahedron. Uh, I'm pretty interested to remand here, honestly. We should have snap remand later, so sure. Spell snare, sure. Spire bluff, sure. Okay, okay. I'll probably play the hedron as a land next turn, but. Nope, they're going for it again. All right, make some blue. So let's cast opt to see what's up. Another spell snare. Uh, I'm not really interested in spell snare. Let's bottom that. Crackling Drake. I am interested in that. Let's go. I guess they have a million celestial purge. They can't cast it yet though. So one blue floating. Sure. I have a land wrong. I have a land wrong. Whatever. Uh, glide me, please. Crackling Drake. Okay. I mean, Kiki Copy and Crackling Drake is also kind of a combo. So, there's your white. Ah. It's fine. fine. going for it. We're going to try and tap the planes and see what happens. They'll probably draw out a path, but it's fine. It's ramp growth for us, so. Yep. 
That's fine. No. No. Come on. What are you doing over there? See, the problem is they had it all in that one game. They can't have it all this game. So, they have Rending Volley? Oh, please, God, Rending Volley me. Please. I want I want them to Rending Volley me. All right, I want them to Rending Volley me. <laughs> all right, so 3-2. Uh, that deck was fun. Um, the Kiki Jiki stuff is pretty good against, like, the, the Field of a Dead decks. But, I don't know. It seems a little rough against, like, Shadow and more interactive decks. I would love to see some sort of other plan against those decks. Um, maybe like Rabble Master or like a Planeswalker of some sort. Uh, not really exactly sure. Um, but that's definitely cool. Didn't love Valakid Awakening. Um, I obviously just love all the blue cards. I'm a, I'm a huge Snapcaster Mage person. So, you know, I love Snapcaster Mage. I like Crackling Drake too. The Drakes are pretty good. I like Drake. But, um... I'm not sure if the boil mana base is also preferable to just like playing Scalding Tarn and playing Mystic Sanctuary, which is all obviously a pretty good card. But playing boil is pretty sweet. Playing boil is pretty sweet. So that's this deck. I got more decks to play, but YouTube folks, like, comment, subscribe, and again, check out a join feature. All right, you can join now, five dollars a month, just like a Twitch sub, but it's on YouTube, and it's the same thing for me, same thing for you. Just a little easier for my YouTube folks to uh, get involved and support me. Thanks, YouTube.